Hello, welcome to my latest video. I'm going to be painting on quite a large canvas today. It's about 24 by 20 inches. It's about the limit I can manage in my tiny studio. I'd love to be able to paint massive. And uh, I've got a, a nice burnt sienna underpainting on the go. And uh, start waving my hairy stick about and see what we can do so uh, just as usual just establish a quick horizon with some uh, Payne's grey and a bit of sap green happy Thursday one and all it's nearly the weekend I'm working all bloody weekend, but uh, there we go. Pays the bills. I'll still get plenty of chance to paint, which is good. Well, just a bit of titanium white going on with my uh, long-handled brush. Oh, it does work well with a burnt sienna background. I do like that. Does seem to enhance the tones. Yeah, it's uh, it's kicked up the panes grey on the horizon a bit, which doesn't matter. Adds to it. cup of coffee next to me and have a quick slurp. Yeah, I've uh, got to have a drink of something when I'm talking. Keeps me lubricated. Just a touch of yellow, using my little flat brush. Yeah, this uh, flat brush has been well used. It's probably only about 30p off uh, Amazon. It's uh, fantastic. Got it in a set. I use it all the time, every day. So far, so good. It could uh, quite easily be uh, Hope Valley in the Peak District. If you drive down uh, along the Sheffield Road past Fox House and Frog's Mouth and then uh, dropping down towards Hathersedge you get surprise view and that's the view you're greeted with must be a, a memory that's stored in my mind Yeah, it's, uh, it's nice around there, I miss it. I think I've probably only been to Fox House Pub once or twice. Probably twice. I'd... Uh, lovely steak big mixed grill there once it's gorgeous and I, I as a rule i don't eat steak but yeah that was nice okay 
it's making me hungry thinking about it. Yeah, some nice uh, eateries around there. Pubs and cafes and things. I think probably my favourite cafe. Well, actually, I tell you, there's so many I like. Um, my favourite now is um, up at Flash Bar. Up on the Staffordshire Moors. That's a uh, oh, gorgeous cafe. All lovely homemade fresh ingredients. Yeah, for full English with Derbyshire oat cake. Oh, it's gorgeous. Yeah, well, back when I used to be fitter, I used to walk from Buxton up to the Cat and Fiddle. <coughs> Have a, a pint in the Cat and Fiddle. And um, then walk to the Traveller's Rest at Flash and have a pint there and then uh, make my way home. It's a heck of a trek. Yeah, sometimes I've had more than one pint. I'd have a couple at <coughs> Cat and Fiddle and a couple at uh, Flash. I'd be quite well oiled by the time I got home. Yeah, the the moorland around there, around the Cat and Fiddle, is uh, uh, an amazing place. I do love it. So peaceful. Yes, uh, coming on nicely. <coughs> Excuse me. There's lots of uh, big and fast movements. So I've got my music on and my headphones. I think when when I first joined Mountain Rescue, I think the cat and fiddle was my first uh, exercise when I was training. There's an exercise up there. Good while ago that was now. Yeah, we we used to use the cat and fiddle area a lot for 
night exercises and things because the weather is always uh, so changeable it's great conditions to train in and uh, it's quite a challenge to navigate around especially at night if you're in, in fog Yeah, not bad. Where are we? About 11 minutes in, and we have a painting, or the beginnings of a painting. Excuse me, drinking my coffee. more titanium white in that sky I remember um, at the Cannes Fiddle a long, long time ago, in uh, it must have been early or mid 80s, you have the Cannes Fiddle, and on the top of a hill there's a, a mast. I don't know if it's still there anymore, you know, not far from the Cannes Fiddle. I remember the army were training up there once. Yeah, they spent a while up there, living rough. Yeah, it's, it's a treacherous road, yeah, particularly if it's uh, the snow comes in and gets you. And... Uh, Quite difficult at night driving around, particularly back then. Yeah, it was. Uh, I don't, I don't know if there was cat size back then, but there wasn't a lot of signage on the road, other than uh, wooden sticks with uh, you know white panels on that she could see, and I think that's all there was. I don't think there was even any road markings back then. But uh, we, we used to travel up and down there quite a bit. To go visit my Auntie Shirley's over in Hanforth. We used to go along the Cat and Fiddle. I remember one occasion, um, I think we were in the Austin Allegro. Well, it might have been uh, Ford or White Orion. But I th no, I think it was. It was the Austin Allegro we were driving along there. And uh, we ate this bloody sheep. It was almighty bang. But I think think it survived, you know, because my mum wasn't going particularly fast. You can just see it now. The sheep in the middle of the road. There's clout in it. Yeah, it was a heck of a bang. There was, um, you know, the band called the Mac Lads. I can't remember the name of the song, but they did a, a video of a, um, uh, you know, it was a music video, and it was filmed on the Cat and Fiddle, and that was filmed in the seventies or eighties, and uh, gives a good of Im impression of what it used to be like. Because, yeah, you, you don't get the big signs that you do now and uh, crash barriers and markers and God knows what else. And 
you know, cut size and all the rest of it. Yeah, I'll have to dig out the video and uh, have a watch of it. I haven't seen it for a long time. Excuse me, drinking coffee again. Yeah, I can't even remember the name of the song. It'll come to me eventually. Yeah, nearly there, I think. Now, that blue is quite pleasing in the sky. Sort this horizon out a bit, if you... Uh, rocks and things yeah the Cat and Fiddle pub has uh, had closed it's uh, it was empty and boarded up for a good while, but now it's uh, whiskey distillery. But uh, I I haven't. Oh, you know, bloody bored. That happens sometimes. I get a bit overexcited. It's not quite as catastrophic as uh, the past. Maybe canvas has flown off the board Coming on nicely. Not too bad. Yeah, there's uh, on the Leak Road, there's a pub called The Winking Man. And we'd been in there a few times, but many years ago, when uh, I think I was probably 18, 19, 20, you know, late teens. And um, we, we'd we been round Buxton and had a few drinks and... We thought, oh, we'd go to uh, the Winking Man because what we'd heard it was uh, quite a lively place. So we thought we'd give it a try. So uh, we got someone who wasn't drinking. We we all piled in a car and went over to the Winking Man. And uh, it would it would just like Buddy Phoenix Nights if you've ever seen that. <laughs> uh, the dance floor. I'd uh, two um, people in their eighties dancing, and that was it. <laughs> they were all. <awesome. laughs> uh, yeah, they were funny. We didn't go back for a while, but we we did eventually. We did go back because a few of us went camping, 
And uh, yeah, we went over to uh, the Winking Man. And they'd uh, done it up since then. It's, uh, it's really nice. Very nice pub. Really good food. Don't know how the lockdown and everything has uh, affected things at the Winking Man. I haven't been for a long time. Yeah, I'm quite pleased with that looming black cloud coming over on the left. Not too bad. Sorry, drinking my coffee. Yeah, I do miss uh, Derbyshire. Can't wait to go back again. I think, um, you know, the the past year and a half, however long it's been, you know, the lockdowns has made me realise how much I miss it. Yeah, miss it desperately. But there we go, it is what it is. Yeah, a bit more light going on. Not too bad. It's a painting. It's not the best. It's not perfect, but there we go. It'll do for me. Yeah, it uh, works really well with a brown background, it's a burnt sienna. Kind of makes the tones stand out more, just leap from the page, the contrast seems better. Good practice painting every single day. Ah, coffee. Bloody addicted to coffee. I don't really uh, drink alcohol, so it's worse things to be addicted to. Very rare I have a drink. Yeah, I'm quite pleased with that sky. Know something I haven't had for a while is a decent curry. I do like my curry. Well, 
the hotter the better I like um, Naga Samba that kind of thing yeah we're a bit uh, limited around where I live for decent curry houses I found two which is good it's taken me five years to find the two the rest are all terrible god all this talk of food I used to work in a curry house and uh, picked up a bit of of the lingo while I was there. It was a Bengali restaurant. Well, not a restaurant. I tell you, it was um, takeaway. It was firma in uh, Buxton. Worked there for about a year. And uh, yeah, I just constantly ate while I was there. If they made a mistake, they used to give it me. We'd always have a big stuff curry at the end. But the amazing hard workers. And uh, during Eid, of course, they'd fast. So they couldn't touch food. And you're, you, you know, you're there with all the food everywhere. You just don't touch it. I think it was Eid or Ramadan or something. I can't remember. I apologise if I've got it wrong. But yeah, they were lovely people. And they, they used to drive from Stoke to Buxton to get there. Which is... <coughs> it's well over an hour's drive. Perhaps an hour and a half. And, um, yeah, they'd, they'd arrive there. They'd open up at five o'clock in the afternoon. And we'd still be open at two o'clock in the morning. Um, I'd finish at two in the morning and bug off home. And they they drive home. They won't get home till about five o'clock in the morning. <coughs> and then they'd repeat it again the next day. They're open every single day of the year, other than Christmas Day. And uh, yeah, they didn't have a shift system. It were them that were the same guys working every single day. They didn't have holidays, nothing like that. And all the money they made used to uh, used to send it home to Bangladesh. They just used to live off uh, not a lot really. They were ever so hard. So yeah, that's where my love of uh, Bangladeshi food comes from. Indian food. Yeah, I think we're just about done with this. Just about finished. Yeah, I think jobs are good, and that looks just about dandy. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.